There's an awful lot of innovation going on in the fishing industry, everything from electronics to fishing lines to baits and tackle. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Middlest Outdoors. And especially with live sonar, many fishermen want to know exactly what triggers a fish to bite. We're here in Spirit Lake, Iowa at the Berkeley Fishing Labs to find out what goes into the science behind making the products before they come to the market for you. Let's go take a look. The model shop was established in the mid-1960s. Um, even back then, you know, um, Berkeley at the time realized the importance of prototyping our own products, developing our own products so that we could control that IP and, you know, not rely on outside sources to do that prototyping. Uh, as well as a lot of the equipment that you're going to see when you walk through the, the product test center, we design and develop that equipment in this, in this room. The reason for that is if there's an ASTM standard test, then we can go out and purchase that and we can use that to test our product. We do all of the design of all of our baits uh, in-house on 3D CAD, and then we 3D print those models. And this we use specifically for baits. We do some, you know, real seat things if we need color, things like that. Um, we're also, we have the ability to, you know, print baits in color for field testing, things like that. It'll take us, you know, an hour and a half to three hours to print a set of baits. We can work back and forth with them very, very quickly. We, we make a change to a design, we print the bait, glue it together, go out to the tank, swim it. Nope, that's not right. We need to change the pull point or the, or the bill angle or whatever that be, ball placement, weight placement. We can do that really quickly and, and bring it back out here. Talk you through a little bit on uh, what we try to get done here. Basically, we're trying to understand what fish can sense and then do they like what they're sensing? Do they not like it? Or maybe they don't care. And when it comes to hard baits, we don't leave anything to chance. We don't just think, oh, that thing wiggles real nice, or that's a tight action. No, no, no. We quantify every, every single crankbait down to its most particular intricate motions, then let the fish tell us whether or not they like that motion. Now what we wanna do is we wanna start understanding how fish use their visual senses, so what they like the looks of, and to some extent, auditory. So what can they hear? Do they like to hear things? You know, that kind of stuff. Mainly, it's a, like, do they like the action of this crankbait? Do they like the action of that worm? He's gonna drop a bait in there, and so it's gonna drive around this monorail at a certain speed, 2.54 feet per second, which is about a normal retrieve. And so what we do, the way we quantify this, is we want to, obviously, the number of hits and a certain number of laps. And again, these fish all come from fish farms. They've never seen another lure. Here comes one. Whack. So, okay, that's a hit. And so what we do is let it go around for like five laps. No, those fish all come out because they're done. They get to see one bait and that's it because now they have bias. So what we'll do is in that bait in that lab, we will quantify its action. So once we think we have something, take the same bait so it looks identical, change the action just a little bit, bring it in here and test it on new fish. Does it get hit more? And so our hard bait test will last up to three years. This is Chris Siley here with Berkeley. We're here at Berkeley Labs. I'm here to show you off some new product we got coming out fall 2025. Oh, we got the Berkeley Finisher coming in a new size four and 10. So the big thing about the finisher is being able to fish it how you want. You can fish it like a glide bait. You can fish it like a uh, jerk bait. You can move it up and down the water column. The big thing about it is being able to do multiple things with the bait in the same cast. Uh, it allows you to trigger that fish a lot easier in many different ways. Next up, we got the Berkeley Rip Fish. We got it in a size seven and a size nine. You're gonna be able to hover it through the water column, do really cool uh, things, work it, walk it like a dog, up and down the water column. You can let it hover there, work its way back. The back on this guy is gonna make less angler fatigue and also give you a great side flash on the fall and retrieve. Up next, we got the Berkeley Shallow Money Badger. This guy is gonna be an extension to the current Money Badger. It's gonna allow you to fish shallower with bigger baits. We decided on a circuit board build to help with durability, beating up against the shallow structure, your rock and wood and everything. So you're gonna have your same action as your current Money Badger, but just be able to use it quite a bit shallower. And it gives a nice finish to the bait. Up next, we got the Berkeley Power Bait Power Vibe. We have this guy in four sizes going from a one and a half all the way up to 3.75. It's gonna really be a good multi-species bait for panfish, walleyes, bass, 
Um, it's going to be your whipless style, but it's going to be on a soft bait. So you're going to get your power bait set and your high end finishes of a soft bait and a single hook to allow less snagging. Up next, we got our Berkeley Rawler and Bladed Rawler. These two are going to be a great combination for finesse walleye fishing over open water and over the weeds. Uh, they're coming in four different sizes to hit your water column. Uh, they have a floral prong bait keeper to keep your four inch gold crawler on great. And this guy will give you a custom Colorado blade. And this guy is going to be more your true slow death where it's not going to have your blade. They're both going to go at slow speeds. Whether you're a fan of blades or no blades, we got you covered with the Raleigh series. There's a lot of things that we do here in Spirit Lake, Iowa to make our products. And as you can tell by the sign here, there are certain things that we just can't show the world. But rest assured, folks, behind this door is the stuff that'll make you really excited. This place is truly the Willy Wonka factory for fishermen. For me and this guy, Midwest Outdoors will be right back. I'm Larry Ladowski, and we'll catch you later. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Midwest Outdoors content.